Chapter 5. The Shredder's Embrace In the haunted corridors of the Hauntager, a place where fear and wonder resided in harmony, Elara, transformed into a creature of the Abyss, ventured towards the ominous entity known as the Shredder. Her newly formed tentacles extended, reaching out to caress the cold metallic walls, a silent testimony to the ship's eerie tales. The skin weaver, a figure marred by desperation and madness, murmured words of chaos, a language birthed from the depths of despair. His tongue, a grotesque entity, stretched forth, activating the shredder with a deliberate strike, awakening the beast that lay dormant, ready to consume all that dared to approach. As the shredder roared to life, a horrifying tableau unfolded before Ilara's eyes. A scene reminiscent of the tragic plays penned in bygone eras, filled with despair, betrayal, and impending doom. The skin weaver, now a puppeteer of madness, locked eyes with Ilara, a gaze that bore into her very soul, holding her captive in this theater of horror. A symphony of hissing snakes emerged from the ship's bowels, a sea of writhing bodies adding a layer of grotesque beauty to the horrifying scene. The snakes intertwined with Alara's tentacles, creating a living tapestry of flesh and scales, a sight both terrifying and mesmerizing. In this moment of chaos, the wisdom of ancient strategists echoed in the strategy employed by the skin weaver, a mastermind orchestrating a scene of calculated horror, utilizing the art of war in a battle against the mind, exploiting fear as a weapon to dominate and control. Elara, caught in this web of horror, found herself drawn closer to the shredder, her tentacles reaching out in desperation, a futile attempt to escape the inevitable. The skin weaver watched with a twisted satisfaction a commander overseeing the battlefield, witnessing the destruction wrought by his hand. In a desperate plea, Elara scanned the room, her voice breaking as she yelled, Talk to me. You don't have to do this. Her words echoed in the cold metallic chamber, a futile attempt to reach the skin weaver, to appeal to any remnants of humanity that might have lingered within him the skin weaver remained indifferent, lost in his own world of madness and cruelty, deaf to her pleas. As Alara met her end in the Shredder's merciless embrace, a scream of agony reverberated through the Hauntaker, a sound that bore witness to the depths of human despair, a sound that would haunt the dreams of those who heard it, leaving a lasting imprint on their souls. As the chapter drew to a close, the horrifying imagery and sounds lingered, a haunting reminder of the darkness that lay within the depths of the Hauntiger, a darkness that promised more horrors to come in the chapters that lay ahead. <laughs>